it can be bad cards, bad juice, bad blocks with you. Finishing in the top 100 of the first hut champions has rewarded me with a whole bunch of packs. Ultimate pack, mega pack, two player premium packs. Let's check out what's in store for me. Man, do I hate hut champions. I don't know how people can play 20 games every weekend. It's too much. I was starting to get burned out after like 10 games. So this is the first pack. It includes a whole bunch of non-player items, so we're just gonna skip right through all of it. You don't want to hear me go, ooh, a contract, ooh, a jersey, like every other card. Ooh, a Kopitar, gotta make sure to pick up that power-up. So yeah, that pack, uh, not so great. Jersey looks somewhat interesting, though. Let's send it to the collection and move on to the player premium pack full of 10 different players. Let's see what we have inside. We got Travis Konechny, white guy Chris Brown... Zadarov, a guy that can cut your hair. Nieto, Melchiori, Vasi the Razor, Levski. No, wait, that's not for you. Lindell, guy with a bad haircut, and Poye or something. So Vasilevsky, my best pull so far in the two packs that I've opened. Out of four, out comes another player premium pack. We're just gonna have to power through this because my pack luck has absolutely been on fire. As in, I set it on fire and I burn it from my memories. Because out of all these cards, my best pull is Pitlick. Because at least he's useful, you know? He's gonna lick your pits. Okay, you know what? I decided that I wanna redo. Everybody, get back into your frame. I don't wanna see you. You're all pitiful. That's why Pitlick's here. Not even giving me Ray Ferraro. Gonna give me Landon Ferraro. Let's try to open up one more time. Maybe if I open it up faster, I'll get different results. No, these, these all look the same. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Because the pack that matters, the ultimate pack, is the Pac-Man that we want. When Coverboy Austin Matthews graces my pack, and you know it's gonna be a good day. Damn, Barbara did work on Stepan. Ryan Storm, Nugent Hopkins, and then, at this point, Brian knew he was a Flyers fan. For those of you who don't know, the NHL Global Series cards can get a plus two upgrade to their overalls if their team's gonna win the Global Series event. The one between the Blackhawks and the Flyers is going to be on Friday, October 4th. If you think one of the teams are gonna win, you better scoop up those cards. You can even do it during the game, but keep in mind, other people will be doing the same thing. But if you buy it at just the right time, you can sell them for like twice the price. The last thing that I want to mention, not that I want to keep scrapping on the Flyers, they just recently lost their NHL privileges. I mean, they recently lost a game in the preseason to a non-NHL team. What does that mean? Well, if you're getting drunk and getting to know the other team the night before, probably nothing. Maybe it just means that they have to step it up heading into the Blackhawks game. Well, back to my pack pulls, you've been seeing that I haven't been pulling absolutely anything other than Vasilevsky again, and Austin Matthews, okay, that, that, that's nice. I mean, I would have preferred an inform Matthews, but I guess, I guess that's the best we've got. In the end, though, while the pulls may not have been all that great, a lot of these cards can be sent to the grinder, sent into the sets, or just sold for about 1k each. So I still come out with like 50k coins outside of the high rated cards. Was it worth like eight hours of my weekend doing this? No, but it was worth it so I can make a video for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.